How's it going on YouTube? Jimmy here again. Uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, watch till the end. You'll hear me say something really interesting about if you liked this video or if you didn't like this video. I don't really do the normal mumbo jumbo like, make sure you hit that like button to subscribe. And I, I do say that, but I don't say it with enthusiasm like some of these other guys do. Uh, I'm your different kind of educator. Uh, my videos are not family oriented. Fair warning. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right on, because I think 30 seconds to explain who I am, what I do, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about that. You just want to see me model some shit. So, anyways, whenever we last left off, um, we got the heads done, valve cover, oil cap, intake, uh, the air cleaner box, the induction pipe for the air intake, the battery. So, we're just going to continue on. If you're all new to this channel and you're looking at this, that radiator there, I promise you we did not do that last time. Although we did manipulate it, but yeah, besides the point. So let's go and just jump right back on into this tutorial. Uh, trying to recalculate on where I was years. What we need to do is we need to go ahead and build the engine. Gotta have a motor. Don't have a motor. Uh, logically, this vehicle will not run. Instead of doing that, uh, for those of you who are following me, like actually following along, uh, instead of doing that, is what I'd actually rather do is just take, yeah, press one on this, okay. I'd rather just take this engine and, really? I'd rather just take this engine and do what I need to do with it. Oh, what the hell. So, uh, the reason why I'm grabbing these, and I'll show you here in just a second. The reason why I'm grabbing these because, or actually, it's kind of stupid of me to do that. I can actually just grab like this and then deselect it like that, and I can just move all these faces down. It'll be way easier. I'm going to see like that. So the reason why I'm doing it like this because, uh, one, I'm tired, I don't really feel like creating any new objects. And also the other reason, because the heads actually sit flush with the engine. And after doing some research on Google, I did find out that these, that this engine is the uh, K20Z3, I believe. So it is a K-series engine, which is kind of cool, but, you know, yeah. Those of you who aren't Honda fans, you're probably like, whatever. My Camaro boosts more power than that. Oh, that's great. My Honda don't. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and... Stretch this out just a little bit. There's this. I want you to do. So I want you to come in here. I'm going to hold down control. I'm going to deselect those. So I should have all these faces on the bottom selected, and I do. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to extrude this. I'm going to pull in just a little bit. Uh, crap. Meh, meh, meh. Bastard. And go ahead, and I'm just going to scale that in. I'll manipulate that here in just a second. I'm going to press this button. That's a manipulator tool I wanted earlier. Maybe I didn't want that. I'm gonna press G again. So let's see don't have a good, hmm, okay, let me add oil pan to the search, because I don't know what side, yeah, I guess technically it doesn't really matter, so I'm not even going to worry about that or anything, I'm just going to, um, press 3 real quick and see how this looks, let me press 1 real quick, let me go ahead and fix this. To select a this edge, come over here. I'm going to select this edge. I'm going to select this handle and move this edge in. So now we got that. Which that looks yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. Doesn't look bad. I do, however, want to come in here. I'm going to add one more edge loop. I'm going to add one like right here. I'm going to select this whole edge loop. I'm actually going to move it down. Whoa, that's too much. I'm going to move it down right about there. Then these dudes right here, I'm just going to move in like that. So when I press 3, yeah, there we go. That looks good. 
So, so what I'm going to do right here, press one on the keyboard, I'm actually going to select just this side. And I could have gone in the uh, side view and selected them if I wanted to, but I don't want to. So I'm going to make sure I don't have anything else selected. I'm just going to bring these down like so. Press 3. Let me get out of X-Ray. have that. So what I need to do is I actually need to create an edge loop right here. Ah, uh, you bastard. Object mode. There we go. Which are pain in the ass. So I'm just going to select these three edges. I'm going to pull these up like so. So now we should have this shape. Let me pull this up just a little bit more. I'm going to grab these three. I'm going to pull these up as well. Oops. Helps if I grab all of them. There we go. So now we got this shape. I'm going to go ahead and grab these. I'm just going to pull these back just a little bit so we have this shape. And it looks more like an oil pan. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. More than likely, the actual drain is going to be on this side. Uh, more than likely because that's the side of the transmission and everything. So... I'm just throwing over. It doesn't really matter what side it's on, honestly, because more than likely, whatever you're doing, it's not going to be shown. I just want something that kind of like you know replicates what we have. And then uh, for the rest of this, like we're just going to create like cylinders and things like that for like the alternator, or the AC compressor. Um, a lot of the hoses we won't have. So I mean, a lot of the stuff's going to be hidden and to hide some of the stuff, I mean, let me just show you real quick. So we're just going to create a poly cylinder. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees in the Z. And then all I'm going to do is uh, I need to change the subdivision axes to 10. Let me go into face. I'm going to select all these faces right here in the front. And I'm just going to go to extrude. I'm going to extrude them down eh, about there. Press G on the keyboard. Pull that out. I'm going to press G on the keyboard again. And I'm going to press G on the keyboard again. Pull this out right about here. And we need to make that short first. Press G on the keyboard again. Pull that out. G on the keyboard again. 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 Oops. Helps if I press G. And again, and again, and one more time. So now when we hit three, we'll have this shape. Now the alternators aren't really this round, so wherever these lines are, that's about where I'm going to add an edge. So now we have this shape. So for this right here, uh, is what we need to do. Let me press one on the keyboard real quick. I actually need to add some extra edges in here because I don't have enough. And then I'm going to simply grab these faces right here. Make sure I don't have anything else selected. It doesn't look like I do. I'm going to hit extrude. And I'm just going to scale this in. I guess it doesn't matter if you do it this way or whatever. Just make sure you scale it back out like this. I'm going to have a little bit of a curve here, but not much. So I'm going to press uh, the extrude again. I'm just going to pull this in just a little bit. So that's our alternator. Nothing much to it. And then we just have to move it in position. Uh, one thing I do want to say real quickly, if you're not really feeling the shape, uh, I know it looks kind of weird and everything, but uh, let me just go in here. Alternator images. I mean, as you can see, this is the general shape of an alternator. Now, you can always pull out one of these handles right here for, like, where the bolts go and everything. That's completely optional. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to slap it in there. But uh, that is the general shape of one. So, once you have that shape, I'm just going to hit Control D. I'm going to move it in position. And uh, if you want, you can make them smaller. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this in position of the engine. The alternator is actually going to sit right about down here somewhere. So I'm going to move it right about here. I'm going to uh, shift 
select this one or you can hit uh, hold down shift control and then select it either one is fine so this is going to be the main one I'm manipulating make it about this size and so by making it that size as you can see now we got this one that we can just simply move into position so easy uh, now you're probably wondering why the hell did he just duplicate that yeah, I'm getting ready to show you that before I do well, no, that should be fine. I was going to change the size of the pulley, but nah. So as what I want to do now, I'm going to change the size of the pulley on this one. Uh, generally, alternators are... I'm trying to remember what they are. They are... Oops. Sorry, YouTube. Uh, I believe it's an 18 to 1 ratio between the harmonic balancer, or maybe it's an 8 to 1 ratio. should be able to remember that. It's one of the two, but it's about an 8 to 1 or 18 to 1. It's around there to one ratio of the harmonic bouncer to the actual alternator pulley so this way even whenever it's idling at 500 rpm between 400 to 500 rpm uh, the alternator is still spinning roughly uh, it's just like 6,000 rpm at the very least I'd have to look up these numbers because I honestly do not remember what they are I just really don't I should remember but I don't it's been too long since I've worked on vehicles so anyways, I'm going to grab all of these, and all I'm going to do is scale up right about there, and I'm going to scale over right about here. And now we have an AC compressor. For the AC compressor, I will take these, I'm going to flatten them out, and I'm going to pull up like this. And if you want, you can also pull them over like that, and it's completely optional. That's what I'm going to do. Um, let me go ahead and grab this edge. I'm actually going to pull this edge down just a little bit. There we go. And I'm actually going to pull this edge right here. I'm going to pull this one out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to grab these edges. I'm going to pull these edges out. So now we got that. Let's go and see what it looks like smooth. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Let's go ahead and grab this face. I'm just going to pull this face out. Oops. I need to select all these faces. I'm going to pull these faces out. There we go. Not only am I going to pull them out, but I'm also going to flatten them. If you want, you can also grab these and flatten them. Completely optional. Now, I am looking at this, and I'm starting to see something. I don't know if you all see it or not, but I do. There we go. That looks better. So I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard. I'm going to hit Control D. And I'm going to move this into position. About there. Move it up. Here, let me go into the top view because now we need to line this up where the belt's going to be. So, right about there, I'm thinking. I'm going to move it over right about here. So, let's see what this looks like. It doesn't look too bad. And also, you can always move it out just a little bit too if you want. So, completely optional. Uh, let's go ahead and just take this now. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to make this more squared. Well, actually, I think that'll be fine. And before I get too western with this, I do want to do one more thing to this. Is So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this face. Uh, I would recommend manipulating a, a little bit more, just manipulating the shape a little bit. And uh, the reason being is so this way it doesn't look too much like the one you just threw in there. So you can just kind of like grab these and start kind of like throwing them wherever you want. So this way when you press 3, as you can see, this actually now holds a different shape than the one you just put in there. So, uh, it's completely optional. Where this one's going to be sitting, you're probably not going to notice it a whole lot. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this over here. Frame in on that. So, I'm going to move it right about there. looks good. Now, one thing else I'm going to do, just so it does change the shape a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and add an edge loop right here and right here. So now it has a little bit more of a different shape than the others. I'm just going to move it back over here. Right about there. I'm going to move it down some. There we go. So then the next thing we need to do is we need to come in here. I'm going to do this from the side view. Yeah, because that is a side view. I'm going to do this from the side view. And I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to make one right about here come over here and then move this into position. 
So the way I'm going to need to do this is I'm actually going to move it right about here. I'm going to scale in. Something like that. Now the reason why I put it right here, because I already know that this is going to be about the size I'm going to want. Roughly that size. So all I have to do now is just come in here to face, deselect those. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to extrude out. I'm going to press G on the keyboard. Come on. I'm going to extrude down about like that, so now I should have that shape. Come back to the top view. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to extrude in. Press G on the keyboard. There we go. So that's all there is to that. That's pretty simple to do. And the belt is uh, the belt's actually really easy to do. I mean, there's so many ways you can do it. Um, easiest way is to click on one of these edges and just hit extrude and pull it across the top where it about matches. Then we'll go into face. First thing we want to do is uh, deselect, or uh, not deselect, but we want to separate this face from here. Then we'll go into, um, we'll hit Control D, and we'll go into uh, Mesh Display, and we'll hit Reverse. Go into Object Mode. So let's make sure we have both belts selected. And we do not. Seven three eight two. Ah, you bastard. Now we'll select both of them. Let's go ahead and combine them. And right here on translate X, negative seven point three eight two. Okay, I don't know how that works. So I got both of them. Let's uh, let's just zero them out, and then we'll combine them. So now we should be able to. Oh yeah, sweet. Control S. So that's how you do the belt. Really simple. And. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing for all of these. If you want, you can actually bring it down. I don't know, I guess you can. But you could. You could if you wanted to. Let me bring it down just a hair. Right about there, I'm thinking. So, that's, you know, you can do this for the rest of it, too. Completely, completely up to you. I'm not going to judge. I'm not doing it because I don't want to. Plus, I think it's extra detail. That's not really necessary. So, the next thing I want to do is just create a simple shape about like that and uh, I'm going to come in here I'm going to add I'm going to add a uh, edge right there I'm going to come into face and just delete that I'll actually end up flipping it over later so let me go go into edge what I want to do is I'm actually going to add a few of these a few and, and here I am just adding a couple Jimmy you suck all right, so let me just move these into position about there. Move that down, that down. Move this one right about here, I'm thinking. Uh, for this one, I'm going to want to cover the radiator. And then this one right here is just going to be kind of like doing its own thing because lol. I'm just going to move this up. So let's see, I want this to be... Yeah, I'm going to want that one to be right about there. Now it's got to cover that. So, Okay, that one's going to be there. This one's got to be moved back right about here. The key point behind this is all these have to be 
hidden. Got to be hidden. Let me go into the side view real quick. This is going to be a lot easier. I'm just going to move this right about, I'm thinking right about here. And I'll move it in right about here. So let me come in here. I'm going to one, two, three. Then I'll come in here, vertex. This vertice needs to move up and over. Move it up just a little bit more. This one will do the same thing. Thinking right about here. This one will do the same thing. And luckily the back one's already set where I want it, so I don't have to really worry about that one at all. I just gotta move all these other little bastards into place. Okay, those are all set down. Come in here. And I'm thinking, move this. I'm actually going to deselect these bottom ones. I'll move these up just a little bit more. I'm going to grab the back two. Yeah, I think something like that should be fine. Let me uh, make sure. Yeah, so we don't really see anything, so that's good. I want to save it. Go into object mode, Control G, Control Shift D. Select both of them. We'll combine them. Go into edge. And y'all know this trick. This is my favorite trick. Just boop. Done. And go ahead and save it. So that's. Take a look here. That's probably going to do it for this video, I think. Just something simple. Just do a few of the pulleys and everything and. Yeah, I should about do it. We'll add more later on, like the transmission and everything. But I'm going to try and keep these next few videos short because uh, some of these are an hour long. So anyways, if you made it to the end of the video, like I said, I usually do these little spiels. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, do a video a day, uh, comment what you liked about this video. I know I didn't do my rambling like I normally do. I'm sorry. Uh... Let's see, if there's a project you'd like to see me do, just let me know what it is in the comments. Um, I'll jump right on that. Actually, I'll be jumping on it pretty soon, because this tutorial series is almost over. I'm like, once I'm done with the suspension, that's it. So, uh, As of right now, I'm probably just going to do a boat. I don't know. So if you all want to see me do a castle, if you all want to see me do a dragon, if you all want to see me do a frog, I've, whatever. You know, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, if you didn't like this video, this part you're going to enjoy. Do not subscribe. Hit that dislike button. Comment on how much you would like to see a poodle get shoved through my eye socket and slowly engulf my unhappiness. Wow, that was dark. I think I need therapy. Anyways, uh, other than that, I hope you all have a good evening, good day, whenever you're watching this. <laughs> um, until next time, I shall see you all later.